it's Geezer back with another build video. Today I'm going to be doing a light version of the Neptune and I'm going to use it on a build, actually this wipe. Um, so I just want to show you guys what I'm going to be doing. So I'm not going to use any high qual, I'm not going to use any armored doors, just something kind of realistic that people could do easily. You don't need to have a furnace inside here. I'm not even going to use one on my wipe. I'm just showing you that you can do that. I'm going to build around here after you have your TC cabinet all made up first. There's no build out or anything, so it's pretty easy and safe to set up. You can be a, you can just do this as a three triangle starter. You don't even need that square there. You can put a door here for now, double door. It has to be a double door. And just set this up starter wise, however you like. And there's your starter. And now we're going to get ready to make a bunker and an airlock some frames. If you have garage doors you can use them, but I'm not going to use garage doors. I'm going to have no BPs on the server I'm going to play on. So just double doors. Sheet metal double doors are fine. We're going to close the top. We're going to have a little drop box area right there. And there's kind of the beginning of the base. We're going to just honeycomb the TC area and that's all. Of course you could um, honeycomb a lot more and you could also uh, upgrade everything to metal. I'll probably upgrade some some of the space to metal if I have frags. And uh, put a roof piece here. Put a square frame right there and a triangle roof piece right here of the same grade as the roof piece. And you've got a bunker and that's it. Just break the twig to close it. Place the twig and the triangle roof piece to open it. You can put some drop boxes here. It's totally optional. I just do that for convenience. If I'm in a, a really hot area then I can uh, drop off stuff and, and use the base without even opening the bunker because I'll have bags inside and out just for convenience. Well let's set up a second part of the bunker. Vending machine. I'll include a game lights link in the description for the original tutorial although this is kind of modified. I just uh, rotate it, put something in there so you don't see the rotate dialog box, turn off broadcasting and just set this up again so it kind of makes more sense now that you've got the vending machine there. Whatever you like you can do here. There's probably not enough space for your bag but it depends how you have it set up. So I put the bag inside the square and then just pick it up whenever I place the frame. Another bag outside and that's how we look now. This is basically the finished footprint. Like I said, you can add more honeycomb and upgrade things to metal, but we're going to keep it cheap and we're going to see how this works on a wipe. Put some more boxes in here. You could probably fit in more. I like to be able to jump up here though. Should be able to get out right from the top of the vending machine, but I like to crawl on top there sometimes. Yeah, so if you're going to place the, the, fr the frame to open it, pick up the bag and then put it back down. You have to do that every time with this setup, um, but it's really no problem. You just pick it up for like 10 seconds and just be aware of the bag timer. And it's open. The drop box is outside at the front door. There's the TC again. And you can also loot the furnace if you put one in here. I'm not going to use a furnace. I'm just showing you that uh, it's pretty nice to have and it's not too difficult. that's really all there is to it guys. I hope you'll um, check out the wipe gameplay footage that I that I do on an island. Thanks guys.